Vin, how would you describe how you provide counsel to John Robinson as this process begins? So we start off by looking at our roster as we wind down the season and who will be free agents. Um, and we'll look, there's different categories, uh, as you know, um, exclusive rights players, which really aren't free agents. You can control them by tenders, uh, restrictive free agents, and then of course your unrestricted free agents. So we'll look at each category and see who we're interested in retaining and what makes sense. And then we'll start looking at the levels of uh, salary uh, in terms of other players at the position who are of similar ability that we feel. Um, and I'll chart throughout the year, I'll look at all of the player contracts and see, uh, kind of get a spreadsheet and all that and what makes sense for players, of, as I said, the similar type of ability. As you begin to formulate a plan from a financial standpoint, how many different scenarios do you have, say, at this moment? Well, if you looked at my spreadsheets, you'd see all colors all over the place signifying different things. So there, there are several. It gets a little challenging trying not to mix uh, the few up, but um, th there's a bunch, you know, depending on if you move this player over here or if you acquire this player or if you retain your player. So there's, there's a bunch of them that are going on. What's the most important question that Ven Marino always has to answer for John Robinson? I think how something fits in. Can we, I think basically, can we do it? Can we do? Can we do this? Yeah. And uh, then we try to figure out a way that we can, um, or if we can't, you know, be honest about it and say, if, if we do, well, I, I guess the best way to put it is if we do this, we may not be able to do this, uh, something else. So kind of figuring out what's the most important thing for us. Do you have to figure out quickly through the agent what's most important in the deal for the player? Yes, you try, you try to figure out is the guarantee, I mean, because you have a conversation and the initial one will be everything is important, and, and that's for both sides. But then you try to figure out, okay, maybe it's a little bit more of the glamour of having a higher salary, but maybe not as much guarantee is important to the player, or the flip side, he wants a little bit more assurances, but I can deal with a little lower salary. So you try to see if you can figure out give and take and see what can work and, and you know, with what we think is important as well. And hopefully they take that into account. How much are you thinking about 2022 and 2023 in terms of cap numbers right now as you approach the 2020 group? So I look at it basically hard. I look at it on a two year uh, concept with somewhat looking at the third year. Um, so that would be branching out to 2022, I guess. Um, it's, what, what I find challenging, if you get too far out, you look at your roster and you have maybe 25 players under contract. So to me, sometimes it's hard to get a real good value or, or look at it and say, you know, hey, here, you're 100 million under the cap, but that's only because you have 25 players. So the further out you go, I struggle a little bit with looking because I just don't see it being as realistic. But I would say two years hard for sure with an eye looking at the third year. You have you know, roughly 20 guys who are up at this point. In terms of your time with John, year five, and your time here, how do you rate this off season that you are approaching in terms of challenges in your job? Probably would be the most challenging. And to be honest, that's the way I'd like it because um, we had some success, obviously, the past year, certainly great success. When you have success, there are gonna be difficult decisions to make. And it's not always gonna work out perfectly for you and, and as you go forward, but you try to make the best decisions you can. But to be in a position where you have difficult decisions means to me that you've had some success. So while it is definitely the most challenging one that, that since I've been here, I think that's also the, the most exciting part of it.